da 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 Nowadays, for some reason, all these debate topics actually go all the way to my kindergarten years. And so that's weird. Well, there goes that. Now, what is cursive writing? Well, first of all, let me tell you a little story about cursive writing. And get, let's go to kindergarten years. And during kindergarten, this is basically what seemed to have happened. Like, in kindergarten, I was, like, learning how to write cursive. And I decided, hey, it looks cool. I want to write like that. How do I write like that? You're like, ooh, it looks easy. And I can write faster. Yes, yes, let's go. And I was like, yay. And then eventually I found out that... Uh, like, it turns out my mom was very obsessed with perfectness. Like, hey, you miswrote that. You put a little dot there. Oi, you put a little line there. Oi, the line is on the same level. Like, what, what, what's the matter? The, the, the I dot is above the E. I mean, it wasn't even over the E. So, like, what? What? So, I was like, yeah, like that, something like that. And that was kind of weird, too, for me, too, because I didn't really enjoy writing cursive from then on because, like, lots of bickering and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, you can imagine how I would have felt afterwards. Anywho, what is cursive writing, anyway? Cursive writing, which is also known as script or longhand, it's a flowing style of penmanship. Now, cursive actually dates back all the way to ancient ancient times, like ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, and like ancient Rome, yeah, and then in the 1700s, you, in the 1700s, the U.S. professional penmen, like, yeah, they're called penmen, yeah, I better write in cursive right now. Penmen, they were hired to write important documents like the U.S. Constitution in cursive. The U.S. Constitution! And then in 2010, new national educational standards actually said that teaching cursive was no longer mandatory. And from now on, it was actually optional for schools to do it too. It wasn't required anymore. You might having a hard time telling the difference between calligraphy and cursive by the way so i'll just tell you how you write it like like the first part of hello they are actually pretty similar but however the end of the o that's one of the different parts for hell for cursive hello is written like this little sideways okay okay let me try again we go that's how you write hello in cursive however for calligraphy oh my gosh I, this is the first time i'm gonna write in calligraphy this is how you write it no all right let me try again Something like this? Yeah. I think I finally figured out. OMG. Uh, basically, it just looks like this with like little more little more formal version of the L's. No, like, little line thing in the middle of the O that makes it look like a zero. Uh, the E looks more like a normal E, and yeah. Oh yeah, and I should mention, it's bolder. Well, here's the thing. Am I, in my feminine position, writing cursive can be faster. Way speed! It can be faster than writing in print, and it also helps students develop their motor skills. And studies show that cur cursive writing can benefit the brain, which helps students learn and remember more. 
Also, knowing cursive ensures that you know how you can literally read these things. Some people are going to write it like that, so learning cursive means that you don't really have to write it like that. It just means that you understand it now, right? Rejection! There are so many hours in the school day, and teaching cursive isn't a good use of class. Number two, there are also other easier ways to write, like typing. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Ooh. There you go, the complete alphabet in lowercase letters. Now let's go for capital letters. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Why do I wish? Yeah, that's better. This is exactly why typing is more awesome. I just delete that. Yeah, that's better. Also, there are other easier ways to write, like typing, as I already said. And life is now more casual right now, so writing in cursive is super outdated. I mean, you can literally just print out cursive letters and all that kind of things. So, yeah, it's an outdated idea, that's what I'm saying. I guess whoever deserves all this is, I guess, the affirmative position who actually did a pretty good job in convincing me about cursive. So, uh, according, also according to the polls, 64% goes to the affirmative position and 36% goes to the negative position. But I still agree with the no part because cursive, I mean, look at my attempts. It took me two attempts to write cursive, like four attempts to still fail at calligraphy. But anywho, the affirmative position won anyway, so I guess that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I hope to see you guys in my next episode too. So, until then, shout out, peace.